Okay, so this is Chatterpix. Um, you just click on the app and this is the first thing that opens up. Uh, you have gallery, which will show you all the projects that you have created so far. Um, you can click on take a photo, which is what I'm going to do. And then I've already taken a photo. So I'm going to go to my pictures, find my photo, because I'm going to do a polar bear research paper or project. And so the students, they looked up facts and now they're ready to record it in Chatterpix. So they find their picture and click next, or they can take a picture, of course. And so then they are to draw a line where they would like their mouth to be. And you have to scoop down for it to open or it'll just open flat. Um, I like that pretty good. But if you don't like it, you can always go back in and scoop down and see, that's crooked. I should have left with the first one. So you just hold down. And he, and then you click the record button. Record in three, two, one, go. And it only gives you 30 seconds. So this is where the kids will talk about where, or the facts that they have learned and, um, anything else that they would like to tell you about the polar bear research that they have done. So when they're finished, they just hit stop. And here you can listen to it again, record again if they didn't like it, if they messed up. And then if they do like it, they can click next at the top. And then they have a lot of backgrounds they can choose from. I liked just the plain background since He's mostly white. And then you can put stickers on there. I had fun with it. And I put a Santa hat on him. You can make it bigger, smaller. And another thing that I liked was since he is in the cold, you just tap it and it comes up. You just use your two fingers to resize it and move it. And then there's picture frames that you can choose from if you would like. If not, you don't have to use any of those. There's texts that you can do if you wanted a bold one. You can change the color. Let's go blue and the check mark. Then use your two fingers to make it bigger, smaller, move it around. Let's put it smaller and over here. And then you can click next once you have um, everything that you, how you like it. And click next. And then here you can review your project by pushing the play button. You can save it to your device by clicking the I phone looking thing, iPad with the arrow down on it, or you can delete it and start over. Um, you can also click gallery and it'll save it straight to your gallery and you'll have it there for your future to go look back on. So um, Chatterpix is real fun and easy to use. Uh, students love to do this. They love to make anything talk like you can draw a mouth anywhere on this basketball and make it say whatever you want or actually draw a picture and um, make your own picture come to life and talk they love doing this and it's so fun that whenever they get to present it to their classmates they enjoy doing it and they're not as nervous to share with their classmates because all the kids love to do these and they can't wait to see their what their neighbor has come up with. So enjoy chatter picks. I hope you uh, use it in your room this year. You can there are many ways that you can use it. This was just one fun way that we like to use it. Thanks for